Right, the, the recorder is on now. Okay. It's who we are as individuals. We have a responsibility to mankind in general. If that doesn't make sense to anyone, go home and take a look at yourself in this mirror. And then walk outside and see another human being. Might be a different color, might be a different sex, but they feel and they smell and they see and they walk and talk just like you. And that means their feelings. Sometimes people, they match their feelings with drugs or a dislike for someone who does drugs. And I talked to a man the other day who was telling me all this stuff about drug addicts, how he gave a drug addict, how he gave this, and how he gave that. And I looked at this man and I said, well, um, why don't you do something about it? He said, what do you mean? I said, do something about it. He goes, well, I call the cops. I said, what happens? Well, the cops come and they mess with them. Sometimes they catch them. Sometimes they don't. I said, uh, is that helping that person? Well, it's helping everybody else that doesn't do it. I said, this is true. I said, and that's why the criminal element does what they do by making, you know, other people I think people's lives have been in danger by uh, 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 making a money off of something that is just evil. And he said, I don't understand. I said, well, take a look at like this, brother. You have a wife, and she does drugs. And you hate the fact that she does drugs. And, but you love your wife. And he goes, yeah. I said, what would you do for her? I'll do anything for her. I said, but she does drugs. And I can't, I, I can't stand that, man. I, I don't like the drugs. I said, okay, well, what would you do for her? Well, I think I'd leave her because if she's doing drugs, she doesn't love herself and she doesn't love me. I said, that's not true. I said, many a man and many women walking on this earth who's addicted to something, gambling, alcohol, drugs, sex, and they got help from the person that said that they loved them. Or a rehab. And most people rehab don't know them. But they're there to help them because they understand what that person's going for. He said, I can't understand drug usage. I said, but well, do you love your woman? He said, yes. Yeah. If you love someone, would you move them or would you help them? If your little boy was standing there and you said, hmm, would you do? I get it for him. I make sure my son eats. I said, that's what you're supposed to do for your wife. What the drug for? I'm not going to enable her. No, it has nothing to do with the attack. That's something to do with inside of you. You don't allow the drugs that somebody else is doing to make you evil minded. To allow yourself to become wrapped up in that world, even though you're not in that world. He was honest, I think I understand. I said, Yeah, you do. I said, When you start to do things, you know, that is against your morals, against your scruples, that that's, that's, that doesn't, that's, that's below who you are as a man. You become just as bad as that person who's using those drugs. And he said, ah, I disagree. I said, okay, put it like this. If you think it's cool to sleep behind your wife's back, tell her lies, and to go out and see another woman, and to disrespect your wife, and to put her down and make her feel so fucked up as a human being, if you think that makes you okay, that it's okay to do that, what kind of mind do you have? He put his head down, this man. He literally put his head down. He goes, wow, I never thought of it like that. And there was a bunch of Christian guys staying out over there on the corner, and they were, you know, had these signs about stop drinking, and, and stop, you know, stop buying prostitutes and stuff like that. He down and say one of the drugs. And, and he walked up to him, and he started having this big discussion with all these people. About 13 guys, and they were, four, they were in the four corners of the intersection, 35 thousand and dollar. And all of them came up to where he was on the corner, on the uh, southeast corner. And <clears throat> I was standing up on the shelf here, drinking me a big gold, just having a good old time, just looking. And he told them everything that was said to me, basically. And they said, wow, wow. And those people started walking up to these junks. And they start talking to these drunks and the hobos and the 
and prostitutes, and they weren't mean to them, and they weren't yelling at them. They were respectful and kind, and they made those people feel good about who they are as human beings. And they knew that once they walked away from that person, that that person was going to go back out there and do something they're supposed to do. You listening to me, Sean? Absolutely. Huh? Absolutely. And people think that it's all right just to be evil minded because they can't. I'm going to be evil. I'm going to be slick. I'm going to be sly. I'm going to be uh, uh, underhanded. I'm going to do things because I can. And I don't like the way that person is. That person disgusts me. I hate that person. I hate that person who's a drug. Ooh, you know, my husband's an asshole. He's a piece of shit. And they go around and talk to their co-workers and they talk to whoever they can. And they paint this picture of their husband or their wife as if there's some crazed animal on a savannah or the jungle someplace and we have to catch them and put them in a zoo or something. And, but they've allowed the drugs to affect them even though they didn't do it. Their mindset became deviant. It became scales. It became a, 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 a wiry, tricky. And they start doing stuff behind their spouse's back. And they allowed to their spouse. And they, and they thought that it's okay. Because they're them. And it's okay for me to be evil-minded. Well, <clears throat> this old man, when he explained his things to me, he said to me, he said, uh, this might sound bad, son. He said, you got an excuse. I said, what? He said, when you get the drugs, that's an excuse. I said, can't rationalize that. He goes, no, 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 no. I said, you can't justify. He goes, no, 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 I'm not saying that to you. He said, but you have an excuse. It's from sickness, it's from addiction. But the person who doesn't use drugs, who does things like that, evil and sneaky and sly, that person is the one who got to take a step back and look at themselves and realize they became just like those other people that they so much hate. Yeah, and in in the bigger picture of this, this is the yeah. pro the bigger picture is addicts should be treated and counselled, not criminalised. Not looked at in a way as if they're some type of animal, or that they're they're some deviant creature that needs to be you know, uh, uh, hospitalised or shot or put down. You know, they're human beings, and the people who are affected by it always it's a family or their loved ones. But that loved one has to be one thing first. Have to admit to their powers and that they cannot become selfish and self-centered when they're trying to say to someone else, I love you. If you say to someone, I love you, that is such a powerful, powerful, powerful statement. One of the most important statements ever created or that is, because love controls everything. That was like the world for love. If there was love, mankind would have destroyed themselves a long time ago. 